Dear students, good evening and a warm welcome to CSAT Made Easy 2025 series where we discuss the most exam specific questions and concepts for your CSAT paper of 2025 year. Once again, welcome. Today's topic would be number series. Number series, it is one such topic which requires you to be strong in basic uh, mathematical operations. Not heavily strong, it is okay. Even if you are moderately good at it, it is okay. After the end of this class, you will get to know what number series is and how much competence it is uh, expected from you to be able to answer the questions. Okay. We will look at one type of number series in this lesson. We shall begin the class with first question. It is a basic question. What will come in place of asterisk in the sequence 102, 105, 108, 111? 114 asterisk okay what type of question is this you know the very topic the very name of this topic is number series so in this uh, topic what happens is they will give you a sequence of numbers you have to make out what is the pattern based on which the uh, numbers are placed in that sequence and there will you will be needed to find out one uh, blank or one asterisk sign that they have given you will be needed to find that number in this case let us see how it works. First, write the numbers in vertical order so that uh, doing mathematical operations between the numbers it gets easier. You will understand what I mean by it after solving this. Okay. 105, 108, 111 and 114. Okay. Now, what is the pattern based on which these numbers are placed in this sequence? Okay. What is it? In this type of number series, it is usually the difference, the difference between the consecutive numbers. What are the uh, consecutive numbers? I do not mean consecutive natural numbers, I mean the consecutive numbers in this sequence. Okay. What is the difference between 102 and 105? It is 3. Okay. What is the difference between 105 and 108? It is once again 3. Very good. What is the difference between 108 and 111? Once again it is 3, very good and here the difference is again 3, wonderful. Okay. So, they have given you that the next number in the series is asterisk and they have asked you what will come in the place of asterisk. So, what will be the next number? That is what they are asking. How will you find out? Very simple, right? The difference between asterisk and 114, it will be 3 and they are in ascending order each number is bigger than the previous one. So, it will be 114 plus 3. So, it will be 117. Easy question, easy answer. So, your answer is option D. Now, you got a basic idea of what number series are. We will look at next question. So, that you will get uh, questions of more uh, difficulty level. Okay. The next question. What will come in place of asterisk in the sequence? 1, 2, 4, 7, 11 asterisk. What do we do? First, we write them in vertical order, right? 1, 2, 4, 7, 11 asterisk. Then what do we do? We take difference. Here it is 1, here it is 2, here it is 3 and here it is 4. Is there a pattern? Yes. The differences are in a pattern. In the previous question, all the differences were same. However, here the differences, they themselves make a pattern. So, the difference between asterisk and 11, that would be 5. So, what would the value of asterisk be? It would be 11 plus 5. So, that would be 16. Yes, another easy question, easy answer. Now, you got a solid idea of what number series is. However, I have one thing to tell you in this whole lesson series, uh, in this whole class, we will be discussing the number series based on differences only. There might be other concepts also like uh, multiplication, division, there might be other concepts also. In this class, we will uh, discuss the topic, uh, we will discuss the concept of difference only. But however, do not get a wrong idea that this is the what the number series is limited to. No, this is only one type of question that is usually asked in number series. Okay, we will go to the next question now. What will come in the place of asterisk in the sequence 54, 64, 75, 88, 104 
asterisk ok. What do we do? We will begin with writing the given numbers in vertical order yes ok we are done. Now, what do we do? We will take the differences ok 64 minus 54 10, 75 minus 64 11, 88 minus 75 13, 104 minus 88 I think it is 16 we do not know what comes here. What about now? Now, we are unable to make any pattern here. So, what is happening here? Now, we have come to a situation where we need to apply a second level of concept here. The same concept we will apply it on the second level. What do I mean by it? Now, these are the first series, these are your original numbers, right? Yes. And what are these? These are the differences between the numbers. Now, we will take differences of differences. What do I mean by that? Look at it. What is the difference between 10 and 11? It is 1. What is the difference between 11 and 13? It is 2. What is the difference between 13 and 16? It is 3. So, now we have a pattern. What is the pattern? So, here the difference of difference would be 4. Okay. If the difference is 4, then what will come in the place of question mark? that would be 20 right, but 20 is not our answer. 20 is the difference between 104 and asterisk. You are getting it what I am telling right. Uh, the second row, the second co column, the second column, this is differences between the numbers and the third column, this is the differences between differences. Okay. Now, we found a pattern in the third column that is differences between differences and based on that, we got to know that here 20 should come. Okay. If it is 20 here, then what will the value of asterisk be? It would be 104 plus 20. So, it would be 124. Correct? Yes, I think now you got a very good idea of how this difference concept works in number series. Okay. Now, we will go to the next question. This is your exam level question. Okay. What do we do? First, we will write the numbers in uh, vertical order okay 9 asterisk okay why is asterisk coming in here there is no rule that you should not come there earlier we were uh, we were accustomed to getting asterisk in the end so that we understand the concept better now that we have understood the concept we will go to the exam level question and asterisk can come anywhere in the sequence okay but the methodology remains same we will just write the numbers in vertical order and then we will take the differences. If it does not work out, then we will take differences of differences. That is all. Okay. Now, we will continue writing 9 asterisk 62, 114, 191 and 299. Okay. What do we do now? Here and here, we do not know the difference yet. Okay. We will take the difference here. What is it? That would be 114 minus 62, that would be 52. Okay. In this step, I need to teach you how to do subtraction quickly. Uh, the subtraction, it is no different from what we learnt in schools. However, there is one short trick so that your subtraction becomes quicker. How do it? How do we do it? It is like this 114 minus 62. In school, what were we taught? We were taught to uh, subtract the units press first, right? 4 minus 2 is 2 and uh, this becomes 0 this becomes 11 and 11 minus 6 is 5. So, it is 52. Yes, this was this is what we were taught in schools. However, we will not apply it here. We will find a new method. What is that method? 114 minus 62. Okay. Now, divide it like this. Divide uh, units place once and the, the rest of it other. Okay. Now, 11 minus 6, what is it? That is 5 and 4 minus 2, what is it? 2. So, the difference is 52. Okay. What about here? 191 minus 114. How will we do that? 191 minus 114 divide it into units place <coughs> and the rest of it. However, what is happening here is you need a carryover. We will keep it as it is. I will still teach you how, how to do this subtraction without using carry uh, method. 
what is 19 minus 11? That would be 8, right? Okay. So, if we did not have 1 and 4, it would have been 80. Okay. Now, since 4 is bigger than 1, we will subtract the difference by 80. So, we will do 80 minus 3, you will get 77. So, the difference is 77. I think you did not understand it, I will repeat it to you. It is like this. Let us say we had 194 minus 111. We will do this 19 minus 11 is 8 and 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay. But we have 191 minus 114. How do we do that? 19 minus 11 that would be 8. Okay. If there were nothing in the units place, it would be 80. Okay. We will take 80. Then we will subtract the uh, bigger uh, digit from the smaller uh, digit you will get 3. However, it is minus 3. So, 80 minus 3 that would be 77. I will explain this to you with a few more examples. What would be 74 minus 65? 7 minus 6 is 1. So, it is 10, right? And here you get the difference 1 that is minus 1 that is 9. So, 10 minus 1 is 9. Another example 93 minus 85, 9 minus 1 is 1, in terms of it, it would be 10. Here the difference is 2, but it is in the negative sense. So, 10 minus 2 is 8. This way, I am showing you this in the writing written form. However, with practice, you will be able to do it in your head. So, your subtraction would be easier. Okay. Now, we will get back to the problem now. 299 minus 191. This one is easy. The answer is the difference is 108. Okay. Now, is there any pattern in the differences? No, right? There is no pattern in the differences. So, what we will do? We will take differences of differences. Okay. We will take the difference between 108 and 77. What is the difference? That would be 31 because 10 minus 7 is 3 and 8 minus 7 is 1. So, 31. Okay. What is 77 minus 52? that would be 7 minus 5 is uh, 2, 7 minus 5 is 2 and uh, 7 minus 2 is 5, 25. Okay. Do we see any pattern here? No, but we can assume that there must be some pattern here. 25 and 31, the difference between them is 6, right? Okay. What if we extrapolate the same? 31 minus 6 is 25 and 25 minus 6, it would have been 19. We are just doing trial and error. We are just doing trial and error and usually this works. If it does not work, we will use another method. Okay. 35 minus 20, 31 minus 25 is 6, 25 minus 19 is 6 and 19 minus what would be 6? That would be 13. Okay. If uh, the differences between the differences is like this, then what will come here and here, here and here? Uh, in this case here, it would be 52 minus 19, right? What is 52 minus 19? 52 minus 19. 5 minus 1 is 4, 40. 9 minus 2 is 7. So, 40 minus 7 is 33. So, this would be 33. Okay. And this, uh, the, the first question, it would be 33 minus 13. That would be 20, right? Yes. So, we got the values to be 20, 33, 52, 77, 108. If it is 20 here, if it is 20 here and if it is 33 here, then what will the value of the asterisk be? It would be 9 plus 20 that is 29, okay. but we should confirm it with adding 33 also. 29 plus 33, what would it be? 29, 33 it would be 62, yes we got 62. So, 9 plus 20 is 29 and 29 plus 33 is 62. Now, it is working for us. What did we do? First, we took differences and we did not see any pattern. Then, we took differences of differences. Then, we assumed that all the differences might be having a same uh, difference between them of 6 and it worked for us. This is not uh, a random logic because this very logic has been used in your uh, 1 PYQ. That is why I have brought this example. For this, your answer is 29 
option A. So, in this concept what do we do? First we take differences. If we can make out any pattern, we will use it. If we cannot make out a pattern, we will take differences of the differences and then we will see if we can make out a pattern. If we can, if we are still unable to make a pattern, we will just assume something to be a pattern and try it and it usually works. Based on this, now it is time for your homework question. What is it? What will come in place of asterisk in the sequence 3, 14, 39, 84, asterisk 258? This question it was asked in this very year. Okay. I am sure that you will be able to get the answer based on this question. This is a hint for you. This uh, PYQ you will be able to solve it based on the logic used in the, the previous question. Okay. Uh, and if you do get the answer, I know this is a bit tricky question, but I am sure that you will get the answer. Once you get the answer, uh, leave your answers in the comment section. And if you like our video series, do watch them regularly. We upload one episode every evening and also join our regular batch. For more details, you may visit our website. Thank you and most of all, happy studying.